Hey guys, welcome to another video. As the beta weekend for Diablo 4 draws ever closer, I thought it might be fun to have a look at the map and get to know the zones we'll be visiting and farming in as we play. The environments in the Diablo series are a big reason why I keep playing them over some of the other games that may in places be superior games. But for me, nothing beats Diablo when it comes to the maps, the environments, and the lore tied to them. So, without wasting any more time, let's just get into it. So first, Diablo 4 will use an open world structure this time around, with five unique regions. These are of course, Kedjistan, Skoslin, the Dry Steppes, the Fractured Peaks, and the Swamplands of Hawazar. Each of these areas will be 10 to 20 times larger than even the largest areas in Diablo 3. So, quite large. Almost unbelievably so. Each of these regions are connected, and players can traverse the areas without any loading screens this time. The geography in these regions, of course, then shifts in accordance with this. For instance, if a player heads south from the Fractured Peaks to Hauzar, they will see a series of waterfalls as they get closer into Hauzar, of course being caused by the snowmelt feeding the swamps. They wanted it to seem alive, so you won't encounter an invisible map edge that makes no sense with snow on one side and desert on the other and stuff like that. Each zone will have a transition area leading into the other that makes real world sense. So with all that said, let's take a closer look at the zones themselves. So first we have Skaz Glen. Long ago in the ancient times of Sanctuary, Fia Clagare believed that the best way of defending the World Stone was through communing and enveloping a very deep bond with nature, and even the very land that they had sworn to protect. So he set out to do this by gathering a large group of warrior poets and shaman, and traveled to the untamed lands of Skosglen, which was of course where the original Nephilim was born, which led him to believe that this would be a great source of power. Over generations, these people changed, developing their own culture and way of life, although they maintained much of their fierce nature that they had once held as most important in past generations as barbarians. They had now developed a oneness with themselves, nature, animals, trees, and of course the earth. In order to protect these lands and their way of life in this growing darkness that seems to be overcoming the lands, these druids, who now dwell in these dense woods of Skazglem, will do anything necessary even risking losing what humanity they yet possess, as they freely unleash the beasts within. The land of Skosglen is located at the very top of the map in Diablo 4. It has a very long coastline on the frozen sea, and directly to its south is the Dry Steps and the Fractured Peaks. This area was designed to be reminiscent of real-world Scotland, rich, green, beautiful, but rainy and dark at times. It's a beautiful but dangerous place. This untamed region is home to many dangerous creatures, from goatmen to the drowned among others. The people who live here built their settlements tight together, hoping that their numbers will be enough to discourage attacks from these horrific creatures. Any list of feral nightmarish creatures wait in the shadows just outside the torchlight, waiting to slaughter anyone who find themselves separated from civilization, even for a moment. And next we have the Fractured Peaks. Far in the outermost northeastern reaches of Sanctuary lies the Fractured Peaks. Few dare to travel to these snow-capped peaks. This region is deathly cold, with devastating winds, steep dangerous slopes, where each step may be your last. And if the environment doesn't claim you, then the dangerous and ravenous creatures who dwell here most assuredly will. And if you somehow manage to survive all of this, be sure to have found shelter. Because when the sun sets, the chilling cold will embrace you and gently place you in your cold grave. None choose to make this region their home. That is, none but a group of religious zealots who have chosen to due to its extreme isolation. These people are brutally draconian in their beliefs, and see the Cathedral of Light as the ultimate authority. These people have built a safe haven known as Kyofashad, where you can find comfort and protection from the elements, but only if you stay on your best behavior. Because be aware, this is worn by a giant pyre that is said to burn using the fuel provided by the bodies of burning sinners. This area is the starting area of Diablo 4, and takes its inspiration from gothic horror and is located south of Skosglen and north of Hauzar, and east from the Dry Steps. Next, we have the Dry Steps. After Malthiel's demise, the ensuing power vacuum plunged the Dry Steps into a state of ruthless conflict, among desperate factions made up of barbarians, mercenaries, cannibalistic blood mages, and more. The Order of the Zakarum once established an empire in these steppes, and their sophisticated architectural style can still be seen in many of the ruined structures that remain. The Dry Steps is a wasteland located just south of Skaz Glen. The land here is very inhospitable, made up of salt flats, desolate grasslands, deep, dangerous canyons, and desert wastelands. While traveling this land, you will meet people who have become incredibly hardy while trying to survive. But be warned, as through this constant battle to survive, they will do anything from banditry to much more dark savage practices like cannibalism to survive. In times past though, very few people here would go as far as to turn to cannibalism. However, with Lilith's return and the growing darkness, many more by the day are giving in to this practice and the darkness to ensure their survival. 
And next, Hauzar. The common belief in Sanctuary is that only those who deal in death or wish to find it come to Hauzar, or of course those who wish to be forgotten, like criminals and thieves of the worst ilk. Poison, disease, and man-eating plants hungering for human flesh spread over this region like a plague, growing and infecting everything and everyone within it. Hauzar is a deadly land, even to those familiar with it and choose to call it home. Swamp witches entomb long-forgotten curses within these swamps, worshipping giant snakes, and for the right price, however, these witches may be willing to teach you these dark gifts, but the price will be quite high. All you will find here is madness and darkness brought on by black magic. Deadly poisonous spiders are common here. The sort of people who choose to live here are cutthroats, thieves, assassins, murderers that want to do their business out of the reach of the forces of law and order. Or of course, out of the reach of groups like the Zakarum in the Fractured Peaks. How is our swamps are fed by the waterfalls from the Fractured Peaks due to their snow melt. This whole region was inspired by the marshlands of Florida as well as the swamp bogs of Europe. And next we have Kedjistan. Once the major center of cultural and commerce within Sanctuary, Kedjistan stood as a testament to humanity's great accomplishments. The people here lived in opulence and luxury until the return of Malthiel. Now what remains of the once great populace lives in constant fear and paranoia in the crumbling ruins of a city called Chaldeum. Now surrounded by a dangerous wasteland filled with hordes of demons, cultists, and all manner of dangerous creature. Starving, sickly, and broken, these people try to carry on with nowhere else to go. All that remains of their great civilization has long since been buried under dunes, spotted here and there with an oasis. But even these don't offer respite, as they are filled with deadly scorpions, bandits, and the ruins have been claimed by cultists. This arid land draws its visual inspiration from the Middle East and the Mojave Desert. So guys, that's the zones. I tried to provide a bit of information while not spoiling anything. Which one do you think will be your favorite? Do any in particular get you excited to see? For me, it's got to be Hauzar Swamps. Everything about that region sounds just amazing. It should be exciting, dangerous, as well as cool just to look at. That's all for this one. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.